What's your name and where are you from? I'm Jesse James. I'm from Belmar, New Jersey. Your name is Jesse James? Yes, sir. It's my I'm, real name. I'm going to guess that you were named after the famous outlaw. Yes, sir. Okay, so today we're at Atlantic City. I seen you uh, flying the sign, just sitting here chilling. You weren't asking anybody for anything. No, I you, never do. You just... I just tell people God bless. I tell them God is good. And sometimes a conversation or an interview is better than a dollar. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, why are you out here? As in, like, why aren't you working a regular job and well, stuff like that? I lost my job because uh, I had a drug issue. And... I was in a sober living house. I ended up coming to Atlantic City and a friend of mine convinced me to use and I used and I lost my house and then I tried to keep my job but I was staying in a hotel. I couldn't afford the hotel. And then eventually uh, I ended up out here. So I'm trying to get back into a sober living house. Where do you sleep? Where do I sleep? I sleep under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. So last yeah. night we had a pretty decent, it wasn't a big storm but it was yeah, it was pretty bad, but I had, I have a, I have like a homemade tent that I made. I collected umbrellas all summer and tarps, and I created like my own type of tent. And I stay pretty dry, to be honest. Uh, do people bother you under the boardwalk? They do sometimes. They kick us out, and they just move to another spot. It's happened a few times. Okay, so the police bother you? Yes. But nobody, no like kids or stupid no, people? No, but someone was murdered recently up there under the pier. Under the ocean pier. Yep, you're looking at it. Did you know that person? Yeah, I knew his name was Keith. His name was Keith? Yeah, he was stabbed uh, 105 times, I heard. When did this happen? A week ago. Do you know why that happened? Not yet, I guess it's still under investigation. And he was, a, he was a friend of yours? Yeah, he was a friend of mine. Another friend of mine in the OD over there, too. He overdosed. He was dead under the boardwalk for a few weeks. They finally found him. Pretty sad, man. Do, do you suspect anybody that might have committed this? I don't. I don't want to know either because I don't want to be involved in it. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. When you were five years old, uh, tell me anything that you remember. I remember being in Pennsylvania. I remember my dog, my dog Rocky. And uh, <laughs> I remember my grandpa, my great-grandfather pulling us around in the snow on a sled when I was five. Okay. He was uh, Sister Kaylee. Where's your mom and dad at? They live in Colorado now. How come you, you look pretty young, I mean, minus the beard. I'm 30 years old. Yeah, you don't, yeah, the beard makes you look a lot older, I can tell. Yeah, it does. You can't go back with your parents and chill out? Um, no. We Have you fall. burned a... We had a falling out. Do you feel that you burned the bridges with them and... I don't think I fully burned the bridges, but I don't even have a cell phone right now. When I came out here, I had my backpack, I had my social security card, my birth certificate, my ID and everything, so I could have gotten a job, but then it got stolen. I have to work on getting all that back. I don't have any money. You know, it costs money to get the birth certificate, but you need identification to get the birth certificate, and then it's, it's, it's like snake eating his tail and tail type thing. When you're out here, like, how much money will you normally pull in a day just to? On a good day, maybe twenty bucks. In the summertime, it's a lot more, but on a good day now, maybe twenty bucks if I'm lucky. Twenty bucks. If I'm lucky, yeah. Why not, um, if, if you don't have any identification, totally fine, but why not just go to a store and say, hey, are you hiring or... Yeah, I did. You gotta do taxes. You need your social security or something. You need some type of identification. They won't. You don't know anybody out here that would put you to work? Yeah, I know. I'm not from Atlantic City. Like I got down from Belmar, which is up north. Yeah. Belmont, New Jersey Belmar, is... Belmar, New Jersey. Oh, Belmar. It's We're... next to Wall Township, next to Manasquan. Oh, that's the uh, Jersey Shore. Yeah, I'm from the Jersey Shore, yeah. So you grew up middle class? Yeah, middle class, I'd say. And I grew up in an apartment. I mean, I slept on a couch most of my life. <laughs> my sister had the room. She had a two-bedroom apartment. Me talking to you for the few minutes that we've been speaking, I don't see any mental illness. You seem like a regular guy. You might have some, like, you know, drug I have problems. Some PTSD but PTSD and some stuff like that, but not, uh, I've never been diagnosed, never been to a psychiatrist, so I couldn't tell you. So you're not I on any... There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Okay. Well, well, I mean, you seem... Yeah, you, fair, you seem level-headed. Yeah, I'm not out of my mind. I'm a good guy. How long have you been growing that beard for? Uh, it's, uh, it's like March. You could probably look like an actor if you shaved. I swear. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not hitting on you, but you're. I look better without it. Yeah. I enjoy the beard. I actually kind of like it. Uh, where? Distinguishing. 
do you okay it's gonna start getting really cold out here oh i know what do you do in the winter time i have no idea i've never been home in the winter this is my first time i ever been home on so. okay so in the winter time people that are homeless in atlantic city is there like a place that you guys go to to sleep no you can go to the mission or the bus terminal okay so that's what you're probably gonna do if i can't get out of here so you want to leave of course where I do you want to be sitting on this boardwalk with this god bless sign where no, do you want to go I want to get back into the sober living house I was in, but it's just a matter of money and identification at this point. I, I'm working on the social security card right now. Once I get that, I get the birth certificate. Once I get that, I get the ID. Then I got to work a little bit, save some money. It's hard to work when you don't have fresh clothes and you don't have a shower and you don't have a place to sleep at night, but, you know, I can sleep on the boardwalk. I can probably get clothes for the mission. I'm doing what I can, man, you know? I'm doing my best. Where do you shower at? I'm just curious. Uh, I haven't showered in a while. We did shower on the beach when they had the shower. They just took them down a week ago or two. So, so well, if you don't mind me asking, what was the last time you showered? Two weeks ago. We shower Doesn't now. that make you feel weird? Yeah. Because I have. There's disgusting. been times I haven't showered, but. <laughs> it makes yeah. you feel disgusting. I'm gonna be honest with you. So there's no place you can just go to shower just to kind of. I know you can go to the mission, but I haven't really been there yet. I only went there once to eat. I can't even honestly remember where it's at. I mean, I walked there once, but I spent most of my day trying to get money for food. Tell the people out there that's going to be watching this, tell us something about you that nobody walking up and down the boardwalk would ever know or ever think. Everything I get, I share with my friends and whoever else is out here. People might not know that, but everything I get, I share, no matter what it is. I just got, somebody gave me a sub and I gave that to my man down here. He wasn't grateful for it. He was mad I didn't give him the chocolate milk with it, but I still give out even though people aren't grateful. It doesn't change me. You right know, on. I'll still share whether you're grateful for it or not. So I'm not going to... I'll never see anyone go hungry. Or if I have it, you know, I'll give you the shirt off my back as long as I have another one, you know? Right. Okay, brother. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.